eyes on I can fix. me. Okay. Okay, so guys, my name is Renata. I'm going to present you Glass on the Store. So today's presentation, I'm going to talk about the effectiveness of social media tools and innovation and adoption course and the features of a grading management. So the first talk is about social media. Uh, Glasses has those social media, media uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and they use Loop as well. So in our uh, survey, uh, from 22 people, just 12, more than a half, so it's good, have seen uh, Glasses advertisement on social media, and almost all of them on Instagram. And Two, I guess, no, four is uh, on Facebook. So the first one that I'll talk about is TikTok. So I will start for this one because it's viral now. I think everyone knows that. Uh, so what is TikTok? TikTok? TikTok is a social media that you can do short videos at maximum of 60 seconds. Uh, and normally with a song at the second plan. Uh, companies uh, can use that to uh, show their products and increase their brand awareness around their award because uh, if you put like a hashtag, everyone can see that, like no matter, no matter where, where you are, so you can see that. And in this social media, Glassons has uh, 1052 K, uh, K followers and more than 1.4 million, million likes. So it's huge on TikTok, considered it's a new uh, social media, so it's good for them. Uh, the next one is Instagram, my favorite one, and I guess uh, is everyone likes Instagram as well because uh, 70 people like vote that use the most. Uh, so what is Instagram? Instagram, Instagram uh, you can post photos. Um, videos and now they can do like a reels which is like a short video like TikTok but on Instagram and calls reels uh, and companies can take advantage of it because they can promote their page as well uh, so they can promote their posts like oh I want to put this to like in all New Zealand or just in Auckland or just in uh, Christchurch and also and also they can just like uh, target their market so just for the uh, the age of like 15 to 35 or 25, whatever. And uh, Glassons has, it's huge on Instagram, <laughs> uh, six, uh, 645 K, K uh, followers and they have more than 7,000 uh, public publications. Uh, oh, Facebook, uh, Facebook is, uh, you can post videos, photos, and share po posts on your page. Uh, you can like and comment as well. So, uh, and also on Facebook, uh, you can create a page, like a uh, store page, so they, the company can like just put everything there and, and they, the users can follow the page so they can like get into the page like the, the brand like oh what the, the brand are doing or what is the sales and so the brand can do it as well um okay so they have more than 2001 people follow them on the social media youtube youtube is a video platform so i don't think it's like so important that Glassons uses that as a, like a social media, but they have it anyway. So they have just 400 subscribers, it's not that much, but it's not because it's not that focused, you know, because it's a store. So it's, I, I guess it's not like the most important uh, social, media, social media for them. And Loop, Loop is uh, the cooks that the company uses to track the consumer's uh, behavior. So uh, Glassons use Scoop to understand the customer's behavior and to enhance the online purchase because uh, when you go into the uh, Glassons website, you can allow them to to use your computer to track your your uh, path on the computer. So they ask you to do that, and also that Scoop remembers the customers the items in the shop cart or the the things that you uh, search before. And they can also um, do it more uh, 
customize the, the customer, the personal information of the customer. Okay, so now about the innovative and adopt curves. Um, uh, we have five innovative, uh, innovation and adopt curves, which is uh, early adopters, early majority, uh, oh, innovators, sorry, <laughs> innovators, early adopters, early majority, late majority, and the laggards. But uh, Glassons just focuses on the three first because as the, the target market is just the younger, young females. Uh, so they just target these, well, those three first. Um, so the first one, innovators. How can Glassons uh, reach this, this kind of people? So they are trying to find new brand ambassadors. So to, to in order to reach more people and to get the other people know about the company and about the new trends. Uh, the early adopter, who are these? So after the innovators is starting using the clothes and wearing it and showing the people and post on Instagram as well, because they have like a hashtag glasses so they can post the, uh, the outfit and then the other people can see as well. And uh, it's like, uh, it's after, just a little bit after the innovator, so it's the, their focus now. And the early majority, uh, we can consider like people like me, after the, the innovators using and the early, early, uh, early adopters starting using, uh, it's like the early majority. So it's the, I think it's like the most important uh, rate, for, rate for glasses because it's more people reaching that and then they like they are used to it like oh okay this is it's not new anymore it's like okay i can use it it's for everyone not just for the uh brand ambassadors so okay now about the features of a branding and uh, management so the first one is interactive <coughs> so interactive is a two ways two way communication so I can, uh, this one I put like a print of Instagram. Uh, this girl just tagged my uh, glasses on in this picture. And then glasses went there and comment. So this shows uh, interactive from the customers to the, oops, so to the brand for the customer. Okay, and mass, mass customization is when an uh, organization links what they cost, uh, the, Customer requirement and the brand's product. So, uh, when you're buying in uh, on website, so here I, I put just an example. Uh, I, I was searching about this turtleneck, and then uh, Glasses just uh, complete it with uh, complete the look. And if you scroll down the, the the page, you can see like you might also like. So they put like a lot of things that you can get into that if you didn't like that one. Okay. Mobility. Mobility is sent for because uh, the company needs to know, like it's, when you see the, the page on computer, it's one size, and when you see on your uh, mobile phone, it's other size, so the company needs to, to change the layout for both of them, because otherwise you see like, not, not clearly or it's not fitting this, the, the screen, so the company needs to be aware of it and then the two layouts or maybe three because we have the app as well. So it's just important to, to do like one, more than one to fit well. So this one is on the website and this one is on the, the app. Okay, about global access is because uh, customers can go to the website whatever they want and at any time. So you can buy like a, at 1 a.m. or at midday. So it doesn't matter. You can buy whatever you want. And time independence is that as well. It's the Glassons website is 24, uh, it's like seven hour, uh, seven days a week. Uh, portability is when company and does this, their content like clearly and consistent. So they don't change like, oh, if I'm going to the the website is one thing, and if I'm going to the app, is other thing. No, it's all the same. So they have the same uh, sales, and also you don't need to sign in in more than one channel. They can do this portability for you. You will sign on a website, 
and then you can see the same thing on the app or if you go into the store as well we can just say your phone number or your email they can just know about your details um okay Bola I hate this word, you know that. <laughs> Volatility of the internet is a word that uh, companies need to be aware of because um, if there is any problem, the company needs to know the steps to follow in order to well, fix this problem as quick as possible and to put their website again into the, um, into the internet. If, like, I don't know if something happened like, like a virus or a hacker, so they have to, to, to have these uh, kind of follow to, to oh, steps to follow to fix it and to minimize of the time of fixing it as well. And that's all. Woo <laughs> recommendation will be is let's say when you get the discussion for the innovation and adoption curves because you only focus on the first three main types, uh, It's right? just because uh, target mark, uh, the Blessings target market is the younger girls, so mm -hmm. I guess they just like focus more on that. Not they don't have the other two, yeah. but just they focus on this. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's so why I said just you about can this. Just maybe briefly you know, mention the other two as well. Oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also you can give us a little bit more ideas about how exactly glasses are adjust or maybe modify or maybe tailored its marketing strategies to meet these particular three consumer types better okay, okay. Yeah. so these will be the only recommendations the rest of the content really good thank okay. you ladies. yeah okay thank you well done renata